<laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Lee here. Welcome to my channel. And if you haven't noticed already, I've got my two lovely little rats out today. So of course, it's going to be a video on my rats. Um, for those who have seen my previous videos or, or like OGs, you will know that I used to have a rat called Oreo. Um, and about two to two and a half weeks ago, he sadly passed away. Um, and I really wanted to get some rats because they're like one of the best animals that I've ever had. And <laughs> so I went out the next day and I bought two rats. So let me introduce them. So I'll introduce this one first. So this is Coco. He is, I think he's a dwarf rat because he is the same age as Snow, which is my other rat. <laughs> and he seems to be so tiny. Um, I think he's a, he's a normal fancy rat. Um, and he is, like I said, he is 10 week old. I think I said that. I don't know. He's 10 week old. So they're very babies. They're not even three months old yet. I got them when, I, um, when they were eight week old. So I've had them for about two weeks now. And this is Snow. If Snow will come and say hi. So this is Snow. So he is a ruby eyed or red eyed. I don't know if it don't know which is which. Um, a, a ruby slash red eyed um, albino or albino, whichever one you say. Um, Dumbo rat. So here they are together. <laughs> so they're brothers. They're from the same litter. Um, they are very crazy at night. Very, very crazy. But they're my little babies. So um, I've got the same cage as Oreo. I think Snow is a little camera shy. Inti could go. Ah, that's my ear. Um, it's the same cage as Oreo, my older rat, my other older rat, um, but these are, they've got a lot more toys in their cage now. I had to buy them a new water bottle, um, because they were obviously fighting over the water bottle and both of them sometimes wanted a drink at the same time. Um. They both hate their backs. I so did Coco really. Uh, not Coco, Oreo. <laughs> sorry. Um, Oreo also hated being on his back. So <laughs> no saying hello. Yeah, hi. Okay. Um. So they yeah they hate being on the backs. They are very energetic as you can probably tell because I have to keep an eye on them as I'm talking to you guys. Um, but I don't really have that much experience with Dumbo rats. Um, so this is should this should be a fun adventure. Um, yeah, this should really be a fun adventure. So I'm just gonna go and put them back in their cage because they're running riot right now, and I will be back in a second. What's up, guys? Um, so they are now back in their. Sorry about that. They are now back in their cage, um, so I can kind of talk to you guys a little bit more about what happened to Oreo and yeah. So as you guys know, I had a rat called Oreo and I'm basically going to, uh, before I carry on, I'm going to explain a little bit of what, what this is all about. So basically, I am going to be telling you guys how, like, what happened and why I kind of got a rat in the first place and why I got Oreo in the first place. Um, so let's start with that, shall we? So, as you guys may be aware in some of my videos, I've probably mentioned the word carers or I've talked about like my, my home situation a little bit. Um, but if you are new and this is your first video, um, my name is Aaliyah. And I am currently in care. I'm in foster care. I'm in the fostering system. Um, 
and at the moment I'm in a, a resi or a residential home situation and I really wanted a pet I've lived here for a few years now um, and I've really really wanted a pet um, but the other problem is like because we have houses at this place that I'm at and so I was on another house before this one and we weren't allowed to have any like cage animals or anything like that the only animal that we was allowed to have is fish and I really didn't want a fish because I've had fishes in the past and you can't really do anything to them and for me I really like animals that you can hold and snuggle and cuddle up with and stuff like that just basically I wanted a caged animal um and I didn't want to get a hamster because I had a hamster and he died and I'm still not over a hamster plus hamsters aren't the nicest rodents out there you can only get them on their own as well because they will fight with the, with another hamster. So I didn't want that. And so I was like, oh, I want a pancake tortoise. Um, and I don't know like why I wanted a pancake tortoise, but I really wanted a pancake tortoise. But then I realised, oh crap, like it's so expensive, I have to get a tank and the lighting and heat lights and I have to get the bedding and the food and just things like that and it was too expensive and I was like, when they, like I have to clean it up, which isn't a problem obviously, but when they clean, when they poop, it's like a sloppy poop so it's really hard to clean up and so if they're on the carpet, like it's really hard to clean up and I was just like, oh it's too expensive, it's too much and I was like, Oh, I want a rat. Maybe I can have a rat or a chihuahua. Now, a lot of people might be thinking, what's the difference? I'm like, don't even go there. Because, yeah, they're both small, but they're both, you know, cute and stuff. Um, so, anyway, basically, I had to wait until I moved to a different house to get Oreo. And I, it took some convincing. But I managed to convince my carers to allow me to get a pet rat. Um, so here comes Oreo. Oreo comes and I had him for at least a year, a year and a half. And then he, like I said at the beginning, he passed away about two to two and a half weeks ago. Be three weeks this, this, uh, this Thursday. Um... And basically, his purpose was to help me and my mental well-being and my anxieties and stuff. He was basically like a, an emotional support animal, basically. And so, he really, really helped. And then, obviously, he passed away, like I said. And I was just like, I need to get another rat. I really want to get two rats, but... At the time, I, I wasn't allowed two rats. So if you're going, just, I know it's a bit off topic, but if you go and get a rat, don't get one rat. Please get two if you can. And if you get two rats and one of the, and they can't live together, then they can't live together. But at least you've got two rats, so you can at least try it. Because that's probably what I'm going to have to do with my boys when they're a little bit older. I'm probably going to have to get another cage somehow because they might not be able to live together but hope, hoping fingers crossed that they can live together because yeah but um so basically what happened was three days it was it lasted for like two or three days and if he just first start it lasted like a few weeks prior to it he his breathing was getting like very very like wheezy in a way or like he was just getting very like it was like panting a lot, it was out of breath and it was squeaky. And that so the so if you have any of these signs, if you guys have rats yourselves and you have any of these signs, please, 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 like try, I know it's difficult at this moment in time, but phone a vet. Please get them um seen to before we carry on. I just wanted to put that out there because it could be something worse than what you think, or it could be that your rat is I really don't want to say it but it could be that you're right it's probably near enough that time so 
it breaks my heart to say that to you guys but please 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 if you do have rats and your rats have any of these symptoms monitor it and if it seems to get worse like mine did with oreo please don't hesitate to phone the vets um it could be nothing it could be that you just need like some antibiotics or something but it could be like the worst news ever anyway back to this back to what was happening so he for a few weeks his breathing was not clear it was like panting it was squeaky it was just abnormal but I thought, oh, he's always had like a slight squeak in his, you know, breathing. So it's like fine. Um, and then, like where I lived, it was really, really hot for a few days, and like he was starting to lie flat everywhere. So I would put him on my shoulder, and he would just lie flat on my shoulder. He would not be active at all. He, I would put him on the desk in the office that on our house um and he would not move he wouldn't he would move but it'd be like very slowly and very like i'm so tired i don't want to move and like i would put my arm next to him and normally when when i do that he shoots up my arm uh, but he wasn't doing that he was just there and it's like he had no strength to move and then i put him on the table in my kitchen as I was eating my cereal, for like as I was eating cereal, like supper, um, it was just flat, very, very flat. He was not warm, which is where his like body was warm, but his tail wasn't. So I don't know, like, so one of my care is like, oh, he's probably just having a heat stroke. So I was like, oh, okay. So then I wake up in the morning and he's like having no strength. He just wants to sleep all day so i was like right he, he, it's you know i'm i'm the same when i'm poorly i just want to sleep all day i want to eat i want to drink like i just that's how i am when i'm poorly and i was like right i'm gonna i have to go to school so i'm gonna have to t i'm gonna ask my carer that was on shift that day can you please look after like, look after him and come in every 10 minutes and like make sure and make you know make sure he's drinking make sure he's eating and all that like, and she did, and I came back after school, and he was, he, I found out that he ate a full banana, like, slice of banana, and I was like, oh, that's good, like, he's eating, it's fine, it's, he's getting better, no, he, that, that didn't happen, and so, I had him out, holding him, and just cuddling him, and just making sure that he's okay, and, you know, put him in front of the water bowl just to help him drink, but I had to hold him up because he had like it was like his limbs were just like nope, not gonna happen. Um, so it it was just like I'm tired, let me go to sleep. So he let he went to sleep, and I woke up the next day. He was fine ish. He was not fine, but he was still alive, which is good. And he was just sleeping a lot and then I was like right can you like we need to phone the vets like this is not good like so we tried to phone the vets and, it's and the vet said it, it was 25 25 pounds just to speak over the phone to get advice and I wouldn't have cared about paying that but we had to double check so I double checked with other staff members and they went right let's get Went, they went, hang on, wait until tomorrow morning, and then if still not better, then we'll phone the vets. I was like, right, okay. So I had to go down to school. So I went down to school, did my school day, came back up, and I was doing my job and making sure that he was eating and making sure he was drinking, and he was, he was and he was sleeping a lot. And then at night, I decided that I was going to sleep in my chair right outside of his cage. And every like three to four hours, I would wake up during the night and give him some drinks, you know, make him make him drink some water. And it was tiring because I had school the next day, but it was kind of something that I needed to do to help my anxiety of him, and I could check him whilst I was drinking. And then. He was climbing up the cage and I was like, oh, he's fine. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's fine. 
is getting better and then he just goes back and then as he's climbing down he's jittering down like I can't do this I'm not strong enough and then he goes back in his bed and he goes back to sleep I then go back to sleep so and then he keeps making noises so I'm awake like every half an hour from about seven o'clock half seven I was up so that night I, was, I went to sleep about one in the morning woke up at four by my alarm turned off my alarm and I went no I'm going back to bed as you do as you're a human being you're tired and you just want to go back to sleep so then I woke up at five and gave him some water gave Oreo some water at five then went back to sleep again woke up at six did the same thing went back to sleep woke up at seven did the same thing went back to stayed up until half seven half seven I went back to sleep eight he woke me up making noises like climbing like I said I then I then did the same thing gave him some food which he t no I gave him some water because he turned his food up before I went to sleep he was like I'm not eating any food um prior to all this and then went back to sleep and then again I woke up at half eight and that's my usual wake up call time from when I'm in school on a school day I have to get up at half eight um and I did I got about half eight and he was still alive which that was one of my anxieties and I had him in my hand and I thought oh he's, he's moving so it's fine and then I passed him like I wanted to put something in a memory box that I've got that I've made for him and then basically what happened was I felt him move so I was like here you are can you look what like hold him whilst I put in his like tooth it sounds horrible when I say that but put his tooth in the memory rocks that I've made for him uh, alongside with like three whiskers or two or whiskers and two eye, eye lashes I don't know what they were and I just get earlier and I look to the staff member and I'm like no 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 like I knew I knew the way she looked at me I was like no this is not happening and she went yeah and then I just broke down in tears which I'm trying not to do now and it seems like oh why are you not crying you don't have a heart I'm like I cried that day like 10 times um I cried so much I even gave myself a headache anyway we buried him in our got in our big like garden that we have we have like a big like like lawn we had a big garden we have a big garden so I buried him and I was just digging his grave I was like smiling happy I, I think that was just like my way of dealing with it I just didn't think anything of it but I was like talking to the staff and I was like you know as soon as we cover, start, start to cover him up I'm gonna break down in tears I'm gonna be like sobbing and then and that happened I knew that was gonna happen and it did it happened because it was me realizing like oh he's actually gone but prior to all like him going into a grave and stuff like that and before we put we obviously put him in a in a box wrapped up in the blanket that he always used um but prior to all that I went in and came in my room and I got him and held him and he was like a rock and I didn't understand like what was happening because I've never had to do this before and he was literally like a rock and I was like oh wow but I held him and I prayed for him and I prayed over for him um so then the next day I was like oh I'm not gonna get a rat I'm not gonna get any rats for a few weeks um and then I got those two the next day I was like as I was thinking about it all day in school I was like I I can't because I've already gone in like I, I've already tried to pick him up like two times before I got the before I got these rats I'm like no I can't do this I have to I have to get some rats um but yeah and then that's where these come in and snow and cocoa uh basically the exact basically they're gonna do the same job as Oreo did 
and he they're gonna bring me life <laughs> uh, they're gonna bring me love and they're gonna make me smile and every day and every day I'm gonna I'm gonna look after them like I did with Oreo just like I would do for any animal that I own I would look after them like and it sounds weird but I've said this to many staff members that have worked that have worked for me as I Coco and Snow are like my sons. <laughs> it's like my baby boys, my children, basically. And, like, for those out there who watch this, have children, you understand, like, everything, like, what you would do for that child or those children that you own. And that's what I... That's what I do with... Uh, I mean, I meant have, not own, sorry. Um, and that's what I would do for the rats. And it sounds crazy, but that's what I would do for my rats. Anyway, I know this is a... <laughs> thank you for watching. I know, I'm sorry if that upset you in any way. I'm sorry. It, I, it, I know it's a random video, but that's me. Like I said before, if you you own rats or you know somebody who owns rats and those, and those symptoms are coming up and you know, like, because rats only live roughly for between two, two to three years and if you know how old their rats are and they're near that age... Please go and get it checked. Um, and I don't want to. Obviously, I'm not wishing this on up, upon anyone. But if that, if the case is that your rats or your friends' rats or whoever you know is at that age, just prepare yourself. And it's never easy losing an animal or losing a family member. It's never easy, but just yeah for my sake for not my sake for your sake speak to people and do you know do things like maybe get more rats if you're up to it i don't know anyway um yeah i'm sorry this is a weird and random and really sad sad video but um i kind of hope that you enjoyed it it's weird saying that i don't know what to say to the ending to for this ending to be honest um please like this video please subscribe i i say this all the time at the end of my videos please like and subscribe and hit the great notification bell next to it so you get told every time i upload you've probably heard me say that loads and loads of times um you really i'm not forcing you to hit the like button i'm not forcing you to hit the subscribe button hit the gray little the little gray bell next to it so you get told every time i upload i'm not I'm not pressurising you to do that. If you want to do that, do that. If you don't, you don't. I don't really mind. Um, if you Also, if you want to, please check me out in my social medias, which I'll list down below. And without further ado, that is my video, well, today's video, officially done. So I hope you guys have a nice evening, a, a nice night, a nice day, whenever time, whatever time you're watching this, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, evening, or night. Anyway, that's me done. See you in the next video. Bye!